Hey, this is Bill Raymond. If you recall from the previous video, we created a featured image in every single one of our posts. And if one didn't exist, then we put a default. Now what we're going to do is add the image to the blog role or the list of posts. So let's get started. Okay, just as a reminder, this repo is available for you to use, and you can download that from GitHub. Go to the YouTube descriptions if you need that information. Okay, if you'll recall, we did create a branch called Add Featured Image to Posts. I already took that and then merged it in with the master. But we are going to create another branch. This way, if you want to take a look at this sort of standalone, you can. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a branch and call this add featured images to blog role. Okay, and I am in that branch, which is good. And now I'm also going to type my bundle exec Jekyll serve dash dash live reload, where that live reload is going to update any time I make a change in my code. And let's go ahead and fire that up. Good. And just recall, posts have their own individual posts, but the Jekyll, Welcome to Jekyll one uses the default image. So we're going to have to recreate that now in the list of posts, or the blog role as some people call it. So let's go ahead and take a look at our files here. This is displaying on the default of the home page, the default home page, which in Jekyll is usually index.markdown. And if I open that, I can see that it's using a layout called Home. So I'll go ahead and expand Layouts and get to Home. And inside here, I can see, there we go, for post in site.posts, and it's displaying all the details that you see over here. As a matter of fact, I can even see the title right here, see where it says post.title. And if I just want to verify that I am in the right place, I could just do something like put the word title colon and save that. You can see there, put the word title next to everything. So I definitely know I'm in the right place. So what I'm going to do is add my image for each one of the blog posts up here, uh, uh, sorry, on the page. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to do an image and I'm going to call the, give that a class of blog role image blog role image. There we go. And in the source, we're just going to say post.image. I'm sorry, in our double squigglies with the two dashes in there. Now we'll type post.image. Now remember when we were setting up the, the pages, it was page.image. But now we're going for post and site.post. So we have to go post.image. It's the same exact thing, but we're just using a different collection. So I'll just go ahead and save this. And you'll notice that it's not displaying. Remember that on your computer, it might work just great locally, but anytime you're hosting, you're gonna wanna do this pipe, which is shift backslash, and then type um, relative underscore URL and save that. There, now we have all of the images displaying for each one of these posts. The only one, of course, that's not displaying is the Welcome to Jekyll one. And of course, that's the same reason that we had before, which is that we need to test for that. So what we're going to do is make our code a little bit stronger now. And we're going to say uh, in, this, in this little area here, I'm going to say if site, oh, sorry, post.image. So if a post image does exist, then run this code that we just added. And I'll save that to test. Yep, nothing went wrong. And now I'm going to type else. And inside of there, I'm going to bring down the same code. Whoop. I'm going to copy that. Oops copy that code and bring it down. All right, so we have the image that's going to display 
if there is a post image, and if there isn't, then we're going to have to display the default. So if you recall before, we need to assign a variable to decide to define what that is, what the default image is. So I'll just do post image, and that post image variable will equal slash assets slash images slash image dash default dot jpg remember we created this down here that's our default image collapse this a little bit to make it easier to read and i'll just go ahead and change instead of telling this image to display post dot image i'll tell it to display post image the variable and save what's happening right now is it's not displaying because I typed the folder wrong. It's images, not image. There. And now we have the image displaying for every one of our posts. Cool. Well, this doesn't look too good right now because these images are so large. So let's go ahead and copy the class name of blog, blog role image. And let's head over to the SAS folder and to our layout.scss file. As you recall, we added this little bit of code here at the bottom. So I'm just going to add another bit of code and I'll type dot blog dash role dash image. And that's our image, okay? And the first thing we'll do is this. We'll just say the width is uh, 75 pixels. And I'll save that. And it's all kind of looking a little stretched out here. So I'll say that the height is 75 pixels. That's looking better. But it still looks a little weird and stretched on some of these. So remember, we're going to do our object fit colon cover and save that. And now the images are looking a lot better here. Now, the thing is, is that it looks a little weird. We have the image with this date and then the title over here. So there's a lot of ways that you can lay things out. What I'm about to show you is just enough to get by. I'm going to create a more advanced video that shows you how to use CSS grids to do all of this. But I am just going to show you a little tip right now, which is to say I can, I can just say tell the image to float left, which kind of says float left, but um, text is going to show to the, uh, the fl text is going to float to the right, if you will. So I'll save that. And now you can see it looks a lot better here. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and oops, save uh, this, this branch and I'll merge that into master as well. And again, go to the show note descriptions uh, down in your in YouTube and you can get the link to this particular repo on GitHub. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more like this, please like, comment, and click the bell to support my channel.